With Xiaomi entering the market, mini PCs are starting to hit the mainstream. In China at least. Whether the Xiaomi Mini Host PC is ever officially released elsewhere is still up in the air, but they'll probably pop up on AliExpress sooner or... Oh, there it is. How exciting! Xiaomi's first mini PC uses an Intel NUC board in a custom new case, but still has some surprises. I bought this mini PC import for 4000 RMB, which is around 850 Aussie dollars. For that, you get an i5 1240p CPU with 16GB of DDR4 memory and a 500GB Gen 4 NVMe drive. It's not cheap, and a barebones NUC can be found for $150 cheaper in Oz, or less. However, you still need to add memory, storage, and an OS, so the price is reasonably competitive. Or is it? Speaking of the OS, the Xiaomi Mini PC comes with an Asian version of Windows 11, and since I'm not able to read any of the languages included, as I never paid attention in my Japanese classes, I have to reinstall an English version of Windows 11. I use the Pro Edition, and whatever license key was included, wasn't valid. Is it region based? Or a home license? I wasn't interested enough to find out, but at least the drivers and Windows 11 recovery image are available on their website so you can go back to it if you need to. Xiaomi even includes BIOS updates. While it is an Intel NUC board, Xiaomi has thrown their logo into the BIOS. Apart from that, it's all the same stuff. I hope. Xiaomi isn't the most trustworthy company in the world. Oh shit, now they won't send me anything. Um, 10 out of 10. Just buy it. The mini host does do a few things better than Intel NUC mini PCs, but it's also worse in other areas. And if I told you those now, you'd probably quit the video, kill my watch time, and shoot this video down faster than a $12 hobby balloon. Okay, let's start with what's in the box. It's just a mini PC and a much smaller power supply. The power supply is 100 watts, which is down from the 120 included with the i5 NUC 12 Pro. And this one looks to be a more modern GAN power supply, considering its size. That's an improvement. I like the tiny box it comes in too, but unlike the NUX, there's no monitor mount and unlike many Chinese minis, there's no HDMI cable. Is this the stingiest mini PC yet? Yes it is. The other area the Xiaomi excels in is in the looks department. Intel NUX have never been the prettiest, but the cases used to be made of an aluminium alloy that could take a beating. While that's no longer the case with the NUX 12 Pro, the mini host is made of metal and it is a very slick mini PC with a premium feel. Well, sort of. There's still plastic on the bottom and rear. Whatever, I'll take what I can get. Since Xiaomi's mini PC is using an Intel NUC 12 Pro board, the ports are identical. Surprise! So that's dual USB 3, 10 gigabit, and audio jack on the front. Dual Thunderbolt 4, HDMI 2.1, USB 2, USB 3 10 gigabit and a 2.5 gigabit LAN jack. Opening it up isn't difficult. Four screws are hidden under the rubber feet, but at least they're not glued on, so I'm sort of okay with it. The plastic lid comes off easily. Just watch out for the Wi Fi antenna. There's a metal plate with four screws, which has a thermal pad for the NVMe drive. A 4C, whatever that is, NVMe is included, and crucial RAM. You can add a 2242 SATA M.2 drive for additional storage. Although, Xiaomi didn't include a thermal pad for that one. Underneath the NVMe drive is the M.2 Wi-Fi card. CMOS battery is underneath the board. The target market is unlikely to ever open up the Mini in the first place. But, there you go. Those wanting to use Linux shouldn't have any problems. I tested Ubuntu off a USB stick and everything just worked. Okay, benchmark time. Let's see how our host performs against an i5 Intel NUC and the 6600U, the closest AMD competition in this list. In single core Cinebench, there was no meaningful difference between the NUC and the Xiaomi Mini PC. It's around 18% faster than the 6600U. In multi-core, there was a real difference with the Xiaomi being behind by 9%. Still, that's around 26% ahead of the 6600U. In video encoding, the Xiaomi was again behind the Intel NUC. This time by 8%, which is still 17% in front of the 6600U. 
The foreskin, I mean 4C NVMe drive, performed better than I expected. It does at least hit Gen 4 sequential read speeds. For the graphics benchmark, the Xiaomi was behind the Intel NUC by 2% in DX11 and 1% behind the 6600U. In DX12, it was again at the bottom against the Intel NUC by 1% and 6% against the 6600U. So, slightly worse performance all around in the benchmarks than Intel's i5 NUC 12 Pro. I've been wanting to compare Intel's 1240p CPU directly against AMD's 6600U in games, and that's what we're going to do. I've thrown in the 6800H for good measure. In Forza Horizon 5, the 6600U is around 20% faster than the Xiaomi. For the esports title Valorant, the 6600U is again much faster. The GPU isn't being utilized much on the Xiaomi. Looks to be memory bandwidth limited. Thanks DDR4. That doesn't seem to make much of a difference for Elden Ring though. Performance with the 6600U is very similar. With Cyberpunk, the 6600U is around 20% ahead. Oh, I was at the hospital today. Harvey's got some broken that lead extends to 30% in God of War. Alright, here's a win for the Xiaomi in Semu. Around 10% over the 6600U. For PS3 emulation, Xiaomi is about 15% behind in Wipeout. And even more in Skate 3. In Motorstorm, performance was similar, but with all the graphical glitches on the Xiaomi, I'll give the win to the 6600U. If you were wondering about the decrease in multi-core performance, well, here's why. The Xiaomi runs hotter than the i5 Intel NUC and maxed out at 101C. The Xiaomi does have M.2 cooling, and it did pretty well at keeping foreskin temps under control. Noise levels, well, it sounds like a NUC, and is about the same. Taken together with its cooling performance, is not very impressive. Idle power draw was a little higher than the NUC. Max power draw at 96 watts was slightly below the NUC's 98, but both are much higher than the 6600U, which came in at 74 watts. And that's where Intel falls behind. CPU performance is better, graphics performance is worse, as is power consumption. With a high power draw, I'm not sure if the power supply could handle being under load with every USB drawing power. A very unlikely scenario, but I'm assuming that's why Intel includes a power supply with an extra 20 watts. Okay, so let's check out the pros and cons of the Xiaomi Host Mini PC. The case is made of an aluminium alloy. It's got a nice and small power supply. It's pre-built, unlike Intel NUX. So it's an alternative for those not wanting to put together a NUC themselves. It's not cheap. Cooling is worse, which also meant lower performance. It doesn't come with any extras, and there are of course security concerns with the modified BIOS. Did Xiaomi put something extra in there? If the Xiaomi Host Mini PC was substantially cheaper, it would be a more interesting unit. But since the whole board comes from Intel, that no doubt makes it difficult to cut costs. Is the Xiaomi NUC of interest to you? Let me know in the comments, and in the meantime, why not check out my Ryzen 6600U review for an AMD alternative. Cheers!